<laughs> Vietnam is an incredibly fascinating place with many surprises up its sleeve. Alongside its rich history, stunning landscapes and amazing food, it also has some peculiar things that you'll not find anywhere else on Earth. While some of these revelations will amaze you, others are downright terrifying. What parts of these old habits are from the Vietnamese culture and how scary can they really get? Join us as we delve into 25 weird things that only exist in Vietnam. Number 25. Japanese Covered Bridge The Japanese Covered Bridge in Hoi An is a living piece of history that beautifully reflects the town's cross-cultural influences. Constructed in the early 18th century, this bridge stands as a stunning example of Japanese architecture nestled in the heart of Vietnam. Its fusion of Vietnamese, Chinese and Japanese styles makes the bridge so captivating. It's adorned with intricate carvings, showcasing ornate designs that seamlessly blend these diverse architectural influences. This bridge has been a vital link between two parts of the town for centuries. Its unique design is both functional and aesthetically pleasing. A wooden arch stands adorned with detailed carvings, sheltered by a roof that protects both pedestrians and the bridge itself from the elements. At its entrance, two guardian statues, one depicting a monkey and the other a dog, symbols from the Chinese zodiac, greet visitors, adding to the bridge's cultural symbolism and significance. Number 24. Pajama Fashion Vietnam's traditional pajama fashion, known locally as Alibaba, stands out as a vital part of the country's clothing heritage. These garments, consisting of loose trousers and a button-up shirt, reflect the practicality and comfort integral to the Vietnamese lifestyle. Unlike standard sleepwear, Alibaba holds historical significance, originating from Vietnam's southern regions. These pajamas have intricate designs in vibrant colors, making them distinct. Their patterns often feature floral motifs and geometric shapes, each carrying a unique regional touch. Moreover, the choice of fabric for Alibaba considers Vietnam's tropical climate, prioritizing breathable materials that keep wearers cool in the heat. While older generations primarily embrace these pajamas, they continue to maintain a significant role in Vietnamese fashion. Their roots trace back to a time when practicality and comfort merged with style, reflecting the cultural values of the Vietnamese people. Interestingly, the history of Alibaba intertwines with Vietnam's past, showcasing the evolution of clothing styles and preferences. The vibrant colors and designs not only serve aesthetic purposes, but also symbolize various aspects of Vietnamese life and traditions. Number 23. Bach Ma National Park. Bach Ma National Park, nestled in central Vietnam, spans about 136 square miles within the Annamite Range. This protected area is a hotspot of diverse ecosystems, from lush tropical rainforests to refreshing subalpine forests. It's like stepping into a living, breathing encyclopedia of biodiversity. The park is a sanctuary for many rare and endangered species, adding to its ecological significance. Among its inhabitants is the mysterious and critically endangered Saola, an antelope-like mammal that's become a symbol of conservation efforts. But it's not just the Saola. The park teems with life, offering a chance to witness nature's wonders up close. A hike down trails winding through the park leads you to hidden waterfalls, natural pools and breathtaking viewpoints. And at the heart of it all stands the Harbak Dai, a mountaintop observation tower that treats visitors to panoramic vistas of the surrounding landscapes, coastal areas, the city of Hue and beyond. It's a place where the scenery paints a masterpiece of nature's artistry. Number 22, the Mekong Delta. Found in southern Vietnam, the Mekong Delta forms an extensive and intricate network of waterways, swamps and islands, all shaped by the mighty Mekong River. It spans approximately 25,165 square miles, about 40,500 square kilometers, 
and stands out as one of the world's most fertile and biodiverse areas. This delta region is a fascinating maze of winding watercourses. They aren't just waterways, they're lifelines, serving as transportation routes and providing essential sustenance for the local people. Often hailed as the rice bowl of Vietnam, the Mekong Delta plays a critical role in the country's agricultural output. Its lush landscapes are dotted with rich rice paddies, thriving fruit orchards and bustling fish farms. Beyond its agricultural significance, the Mekong Delta is a sanctuary for a rich array of flora and fauna. The biodiversity here encompasses a stunning variety of fish, birds and plants, some of which are rare and endangered. Exploring the Delta offers more than just a glimpse of nature. It's an invitation to witness a way of life intricately tied to the water and deeply rooted in vibrant cultural traditions. Number 21. Women and Stewardesses Dress Code In Vietnam, dressing conservatively is a cultural norm, especially in places like temples or urban areas. It's about showing respect for local customs. So, when you're out and about, it's best to cover up your shoulders, cleavage and knees. Interestingly, flight attendants in Vietnam might find themselves in unique situations. Airlines here often have strict guidelines on appearance outlined in their contracts. It can include specifics about hair length, approved nail polish shades and even the type of earrings or accessories they can wear. Some airlines might even have height or weight requirements. What's even more intriguing is that certain airlines might have policies about how much skin their flight attendants can show while working. It's a blend of cultural norms and corporate expectations, creating a set of rules that might seem unusual to outsiders. This cultural adherence is a part of the aviation industry here. The rules are often seen as a way for airlines to present a particular image to the public, combining professionalism with cultural sensitivities. Number 20. The Dong Van Plateau Nestled in Vietnam's northern Hajiang province, this province is an expansive region spanning 1,463 square miles or 2,156 square kilometers, and it holds the prestigious title of UNESCO Global Geopark. It's not just a piece of land, it's a captivating window into Earth's geological history. What makes this plateau so remarkable are its extraordinary geological formations. With its limestone structures and cast landscapes dotting the terrain, it forms a unique and awe-inspiring natural spectacle. These formations tell tales of millions of years of Earth's evolution, offering a glimpse into the planet's ancient past. But the Dong Van Plateau isn't just about geology. It's a vibrant tapestry of cultures. It's home to diverse ethnic minority communities, including the Hmong, Dao and Tay. These communities weave their rich traditions and customs into the fabric of daily life, showcasing their heritage through local markets, festive celebrations and everyday practices. Number 19. Vietnamese Water Puppets In Vietnamese culture, underwater activities have been elevated to an art form for over a millennium. The captivating tradition of Vietnamese water puppets traces its roots back to the 11th century, flourishing in the Red River Delta region. This unique artistry takes storytelling to a whole new dimension by unfolding on the water's surface. Picture this. Puppeteers, standing behind a bamboo screen immersed in waist-deep water, skillfully manipulating intricately crafted puppets with long rods and strings hidden beneath the watery stage. These puppets seem to defy gravity as they glide, dance and execute acrobatic feats, transcending the conventional limits of puppetry. Within the confines of a waist-deep pool, a mesmerizing spectacle unfolds. Dragons gracefully spew water, farmers diligently plow their fields and mythical creatures come to life. It's a symphony of puppetry and water dynamics, creating an enchanting experience that surprises and captivates spectators of all ages. Number 18. Snakes Publicly Drained 
While snake eating might seem like a tourist thing to do, it's a pretty common local tradition in Vietnam. You may be wandering through a quiet countryside town and suddenly spot a few locals handling a viper right there in the street. This is a normal scene for them. Now, the process might seem intense as it involves a unique method. They use a noose to secure the snake's head and then make a swift slash to its neck. This helps collect the snake's blood. They then capture that blood in a bottle of rice wine, creating what they call snake wine. It's definitely not your average winemaking process, that's for sure. And they don't stop there. They sometimes cut out the snake's still beating heart and have it as a delicacy. This gives you a peek into their culture, where these practices have been around for a long, long time. While it might seem a bit shocking at first, it's their way of life and the food culture they've embraced. Number 17. Communal smoking. In Vietnam, communal smoking is a cultural tradition that's deeply rooted in social gatherings and bonding. Older generations come together, sharing water pipes known as duke or la co during these gatherings. These communal smoking sessions are moments of camaraderie and community. People sit together, passing around the same pipe, engaging in conversations and exchanging stories. It's a time-honoured ritual that fosters a sense of togetherness and strengthens social ties within the community. However, while communal smoking holds significant cultural value, awareness of the health risks associated with tobacco has led to a decline in this practice. Public health campaigns and regulations aimed at reducing smoking prevalence and promoting healthier lifestyles have played a role in this shift. Despite these efforts, communal smoking remains ingrained in Vietnam's cultural fabric. Number 16. Canyoning in Dalat. Canyoning in Dalat is an incredible adventure that lets you dive into the breathtaking natural beauty of Vietnam's central highlands. It's like a journey through rugged canyons, cascading waterfalls and lush forests. It's nature at its finest. The adventure kicks off with rappelling down cliffs and descending through gushing waterfalls and steep canyon walls using specialized equipment. It's a mix of adrenaline, challenge and sheer excitement. Canyoning in Dalat offers a collection of other adventures like cliff jumping into clear pools, natural water slides and swimming through freshwater streams. It's a playground for thrill seekers where every twist and turn brings a rush of excitement. Beyond the heart-pumping activities, canyoning presents moments to soak in the region's stunning beauty. It's a sensory feast that immerses you in the wonders of nature. Number 15. Kondao Islands. The Kondao Islands, a group of islands off Vietnam's southeastern coast in the South China Sea, form a beautiful and tranquil destination. It is a remote sanctuary, relatively unknown to many, where unspoiled natural beauty reigns supreme. This archipelago comprises 16 islands and islets, each contributing to the appeal of this serene retreat. The Kondao Islands are renowned for their lush tropical landscapes, stunning beaches and crystalline waters. It's like stepping into a postcard-perfect paradise that feels untouched by time. These islands are also home to the Kondao National Park, a protected area bursting with biodiversity. Here, visitors can delve into dense forests, encounter diverse marine life and explore a network of hiking trails that wind through the island's natural splendour. Moreover, it was once the site of a notorious French colonial prison complex famously known as the Devil's Island. Remnants of this dark past can be explored at the Condau Museum and various prison sites. It's a stark contrast to the island's peaceful present, offering a glimpse into a tumultuous history. Number 14. Karaoke Culture In Vietnam, karaoke isn't just a casual pastime. It's a cultural phenomenon deeply woven into the social fabric. Here, you'll find private karaoke rooms, also known as karaoke boxes or KTV rooms, scattered all around the country. But unlike the communal karaoke experiences you might find elsewhere, 
Vietnam takes it to the next level with these private havens. These private karaoke rooms are often extravagant, lavishly decorated and equipped with top-notch sound systems. Step into one and you might find them rooms that transport you to different atmospheres, from classic elegance to vibrant pop. It's not just about singing, it's about creating an immersive experience. And speaking of singing, the song selection in Vietnamese karaoke rooms is no joke. It goes way beyond popular hits. You'll find an eclectic mix of international songs ranging from classic rock to K-pop. So, whether you're into belting out power ballads or showing off your multilingual prowess, there's something for everyone. What makes the Vietnamese karaoke scene unique is its accessibility. It's not confined to dedicated spaces, it's mobile. Karaoke setups on boats, buses and even bicycles bring this pastime to all corners of the country, making it available at all hours and locations. Number 13. The world's largest cave, the Sun Dong Cave, in Vietnam's Phong Ha Ke Bang National Park, is a remarkable discovery from 2009. Nestled in Quang Binh Province, this cave is a gem of central Vietnam. However, only 300 lucky visitors can explore it each year, making it an exclusive and coveted experience. For those looking for a more accessible adventure, there's the nearby Paradise Cave. It's an impressive alternative, stretching across a massive 34 kilometers. While it might not have the exclusivity of Son Dung, it still offers an incredible exploration opportunity, showcasing the stunning underground wonders of Vietnam. Number 12. Eating and wearing silkworm. In Vietnam, silkworms play a significant role in both culture and cuisine. These little creatures are essential to the country's silk production industry and offer intriguing possibilities in fashion and food. When it comes to clothing, silkworms are stars in fabric production. The crucial stage is when the silkworms are in their pupal phase. During this time, they spin delicate cocoons made of fine silk threads. These cocoons are carefully harvested to create luxurious silk fabric known for its smooth texture and brilliant sheen. This silk fabric becomes the foundation for exquisite garments and textiles cherished for their quality and elegance. But that's not the end of the silkworm's story. In Vietnamese cuisine, these creatures are also considered delicacies, adding a unique twist to local dishes. From deep frying to sautéing with flavorful seasonings, silkworms can be prepared in various ways. Some even enjoy them in salads, offering a crunchy texture and a distinct flavor profile. Number 11. Weasel Poo Coffee Vietnam boasts a unique and prized coffee variety known as Weasel Poo Coffee or Civet Coffee, a truly distinct brew. Small mammals called civets, native to this region, munch on coffee cherries and then pass out the undigested beans. These beans are meticulously collected, cleaned and roasted to craft a rare and highly desired cup of coffee. What makes this coffee so special is the journey it takes through the civet's digestive system. The enzymatic action during digestion alters the bean's flavor profile, resulting in a smoother, less acidic coffee with distinctive earthy notes. It's like nature's own barista, enhancing the coffee's taste in a way that traditional methods can't replicate. This unique brewing method has gained global attention, often being considered a luxury item. In fact, Kopi Luwak, as it's formerly known, ranks as one of the rarest beverages worldwide. Despite its labor-intensive production and the relative scarcity of the beans, those who seek it out are in for an exceptional and intricate coffee experience. Number 10. Kuchi Tunnels The Kuchi Tunnels found in the Kuchi district just outside Ho Chi Minh City are more than just tunnels. They're a testament to Vietnam's resilience during wartime. These tunnels served as a lifeline for Viet Cong soldiers, offering a hidden base and secret pathways to navigate and communicate during the war. Imagine this, 
an extensive underground network sprawling for over 1,155 miles, housing multiple levels with living quarters, kitchens, medical facilities and storage areas. Some tunnels even extended beneath the Saigon River, showcasing the sheer complexity of this hidden world. Today, visitors to the Kuchi Tunnels can explore a section that's been preserved and open to the public. Also, the site features exhibits and displays that vividly illustrate the ingenuity and resilience of the Vietnamese resistance fighters. You'll get a glimpse into their tactics, their innovative traps, camouflage techniques and the weapons they used during the conflict. What's intriguing is the sheer resourcefulness displayed in these tunnels. They weren't just hiding spots, they were entire communities hidden from view. Number 9. Eating porcupine. Porcupine meat is a culinary tradition passed down through generations in Vietnam. People hunt porcupines for their meat, considering it a delicacy in certain regions. This meat finds its way into various dishes, such as grilled porcupine skewers or hearty porcupine stew, each showcasing its tender texture and distinctively rich flavor, often described as slightly gamey. To elevate its taste, chefs season it with a blend of herbs and spices, adding layers of flavor to this unique delicacy. But behind this culinary tradition lies a complex issue. The cultural practice of consuming porcupine meat is deeply rooted in specific areas of Vietnam. However, it's crucial to recognize the growing concerns surrounding this practice. Overhunting of porcupines and other wildlife for consumption has raised alarms regarding biodiversity and conservation efforts. The depletion of porcupine populations due to excessive hunting poses a threat to the delicate balance of ecosystems. It's a matter of conservation, ensuring that these unique creatures remain a part of Vietnam's diverse wildlife without endangering their existence. Thankfully, there are ongoing efforts to address these concerns and promote sustainable hunting practices. Conservation organizations and local communities are collaborating to raise awareness about the importance of preserving wildlife while sustaining cultural traditions. They're advocating for responsible hunting, emphasizing the need to protect these species and their habitats. Number 8. Giant's Causeway at Gan Da Dia. Gan Da Dia, nicknamed the Giant's Causeway of Vietnam, is a jaw-dropping geological marvel nestled in Pu Yen province along the central coast. Think of it like nature's grand art piece, an array of thousands of interlocking hexagonal basalt columns that stretch along the coastline. It's similar to its more famous counterpart in Northern Ireland, showcasing nature's prowess in creating stunning mosaics from these basalt columns. The magic behind Ganshdardia dates back millions of years, sparked by volcanic activity that crafted this spectacular site. These columns, with their varying sizes and shapes, form a mesmerizing pattern that's incredibly uniform, painting a breathtaking landscape right by the sea. You can walk along pathways and stairs, exploring this natural wonder while soaking in the beauty of the South China Sea, which frames the coastline. Legend has it that this breathtaking sight was formed by the struggle of a mother dragon, adding a touch of cultural significance to its awe-inspiring presence. And the Vietnamese government has recognized its natural beauty, designating Gan Da Dia as a natural scenic monument emphasizing its significance as a national treasure. Number 7. The Hands of God At Barna Hills, standing tall at 1,414 meters above sea level near Da Nang in central Vietnam, lies the stunning Golden Bridge. This architectural wonder stretches across 150 meters, offering a breathtaking view over the lush green hills. What makes it truly unique is the illusion it creates. Two giant hands, appearing almost divine, cradle the bridge. Since its completion in 2018, the Golden Bridge has captivated global attention, drawing crowds of visitors eager to witness its stunning beauty firsthand. 
its viral fame soared due to its exceptional design, making it a must-visit destination. For those seeking a quieter experience and a chance to enjoy the bridge without the bustling crowds, catching a glimpse at sunrise might be the perfect choice. It's a time when the tranquil morning setting paints an even more serene picture of this architectural marvel. Number 6. Truong San Mountain Range also known as the Anamite Range, the Truong Son. Mountain range stands tall and picturesque along the eastern border of Laos and Vietnam. This geologically diverse range spans a staggering 683 miles or 1 100 kilometers, weaving its way through both countries and significantly shaping the landscape and ecosystems of the region. It's a mighty natural fortress, a landscape characterized by rugged terrain dense forests and steep slopes. It serves as a natural barrier between Laos and Vietnam, almost like a guardian of the border. Interestingly, the Truong Son Mountains are an extension of the greater Himalayan mountain system, adding to their geological significance. What makes these mountains truly exceptional is their rich biodiversity. Within their embrace, a mosaic of ecosystems thrives, from lush tropical rainforests to montane forests, each harboring diverse wildlife habitats. These mountains are home to a range of rare and endangered species, including the mysterious Saola and the Indo-Chinese tiger. This incredible biodiversity marks the Truong Son Mountains as a hotspot of global importance, a sanctuary for species found scarcely elsewhere. But beyond their natural splendor, these mountains hold historical significance. During the Vietnam War, they played a pivotal role as part of the Ho Chi Minh Trail, a vital supply route for North Vietnamese forces. Today, remnants of this wartime history still linger within the range, serving as poignant reminders of the region's past struggles and resilience. Number 5. The Sand Dunes in Mui Ne. Mui Ne's sand dunes in Vietnam are nature's enchanting surprise, standing out amidst the coastal landscapes. Nestled in the resort town of Mui Ne, these captivating sand dunes offer a unique desert-like experience in a tropical setting. They are divided into two main areas, the red sand dunes and the white sand dunes, and each presents its own appeal and adventure. The red sand dunes, for example, have reddish-brown sands sculpted into rolling hills and valleys, creating a mesmerizing sight. Visitors can indulge in thrilling sandboarding or simply soak in the panoramic views of the nearby fishing village and the South China Sea. It's an experience that blends excitement with the charm of local life against a backdrop of stunning natural beauty. On the other hand, the white sand dunes boast ivory-colored sands spread across larger expanses. Here, visitors can rent off-road vehicles to traverse the dunes or try sand sledding, a heart-pounding activity where you glide down the slopes for an exhilarating rush of adrenaline. But the real magic happens during sunrise and sunset. The interplay of sunlight on the sand creates a mesmerizing canvas of colors and shadows, painting the landscape with breathtaking hues. It's a spectacle that transforms the dunes into a kaleidoscope of natural beauty, a sight to behold and capture in memories. Number 4. Ghost Money In Vietnam, there's something unique called ghost money, or joss paper. It's this special kind of paper with a mystical role in Vietnamese culture that's really interesting. This ghost money isn't your everyday cash, Instead, it's symbolic paper currency, sometimes referred to as spirit money. What makes it so intriguing is its connection between our physical world and the spiritual realm. Vietnamese tradition believes that burning this symbolic money, along with other items, acts as an offering to ancestors and spirits. The interesting thing about ghost money is how it's considered a bridge between our world and the afterlife. When it's burned during ceremonies or special occasions like the Lunar New Year, families believe that the smoke carries these offerings to their ancestors and wandering spirits. It's like a way of connecting with them and showing respect.
Number 3. Round Basket Boat During the French colonial period, fishermen crafted these unique vessels to dodge heavy boat taxes. These boats have become a symbol of Vietnam's coastal areas. Woven from bamboo, they're lightweight enough for fishermen to lift out of the water and carry above their heads, making transport a breeze. In Hoi An, renowned as one of Vietnam's most beautiful towns, you can experience a ride on these boats along the river and out to sea. They offer an authentic glimpse into the traditional fishing practices and the town's scenic beauty. Number 2. Marble Mountains in Da Nang The Marble Mountains in Da Nang, Vietnam is a fascinating cluster of five majestic limestone formations, each named after one of the five elements. Thuy, which is water, Mok, meaning wood, Hoa for fire, Kim for metal, and Tho, meaning earth. These unique natural wonders hold deep cultural and spiritual significance. Caves, tunnels and grottos weave through these mountains, some housing ancient Buddhist shrines and statues. Among these marvels stands the Lin Ung Pagoda, perched atop Thuy Son or Water Mountain, boasting a grand Lady Buddha statue gazing out over the sea. As you ascend the marble mountains through staircases and paths carved into the rock, you're treated to panoramic views of the coastline and lush landscapes. But that's not all. These mountains are also a hub for stone carving and sculpture in Vietnam. Local artisans craft exquisite marble and stone products, showcasing their skills and creativity. It's not just a place to admire nature, it's an opportunity to explore Vietnamese craftsmanship firsthand. From intricately carved sculptures to delicate ornaments, these artisanal pieces make for unique souvenirs and mementos. Number 1. The My Son Hindu Sanctuary Here is a sanctuary that sits nestled within the lush landscapes of Quang Nam province in central Vietnam. It's tempting to imagine the Cham people who built these temples as peace-loving due to the serene temples they left behind. However, history tells a different story. The Cham people were known as seafaring people, often engaging in piracy, raiding passing ships and frequently at odds with both the Vietnamese and the Khmer further south. This UNESCO World Heritage Site holds immense significance as the spiritual and religious core of the ancient Champa Kingdom, flourishing from the 4th to the 13th century. The sanctuary complex comprises over 70 temples and structures, a testament to the architectural and artistic brilliance of the Champa civilization. These red brick temples, dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva, are a blend of Indian architectural styles infused with local influences. Intricate carvings, bas-reliefs and decorative motifs adorn these structures, offering a glimpse into the spiritual and artistic expressions of the Shampa people. Despite the passage of time and historical events causing some damage to my son, much of its beauty and mystery endure. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check another of our interesting videos while you're still here. See you there.